Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of thanks and appreciation from former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe for His Majesty's cooperation and that of the government of Bahrain with him throughout his tenure, valuing highly the efforts exerted by the two friendly countries to consolidate global values such as peace, prosperity, and the international community, freedom, democracy, human rights, rule of the law, and promoting peace values in accordance with the principles of the international co cooperation. The former Prime Minister of Japan renewed deep thanks to His Majesty the King for bestowing on him the Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa Order of the First Class, expressing full confidence that the friendly relations between the two countries will grow further and that joint cooperation will become stronger in the future. He wished His Majesty the King lasting good health and happiness and wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks and appreciation from the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, in which he expressed thanks for the cooperation and hospitality he received from the Bahraini government during his tenure as Prime Minister. He noted his visit to the Kingdom in 2013 as the first Japanese Prime Minister to visit Bahrain, where he met His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and exchanged with him views on the means of bolstering cooperation between the two countries. He expressed deep appreciation for the efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister that contributed to the progress in the Kingdom and the stability in the region and the international community. He wished His Royal Highness lasting good health and happiness and the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. Abbe affirmed his confidence that the relations between the two countries will further develop in the future. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a letter of thanks from the former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. The former Japanese Prime Minister expressed thanks for the cooperation and hospitality he received from the Bahraini government during his tenure as Prime Minister. He expressed deep appreciation for the efforts of the two countries to achieve stability in the region and the international community. Abe reiterated his thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, recalling His Royal Highness's visit to Japan as his attendant of the Emperor coronation last year. He affirmed his confidence that the relations between the two countries will further develop in the future and wished His Royal Highness lasting good health and happiness and the Kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyah Zainal praised the government's positive response to the parliamentary demands to postpone loan payment to citizens following the circular issued by the Central Bank of Bahrain with the aim of reducing the impact of the pandemic on citizens and the national economy. She expressed deep appreciation for the directives of His Majesty the King and his unwavering keenness to ensure citizens' interest, citing the launch of the financial and economic stimulus package. She also commended the great efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, to tackle the coronavirus and ensure everyone's health and safety. The Speaker assured that the bank's approval to postponing loan payments until the end of this year is a generous, na generous national gesture that enhances their societal responsibility. She also highlighted the government's decision to pay the electricity and water bills, as well as the municipal fees for all citizens for their first residence for a period of three months starting from October 2020, which is part of the government's effort to protect the interests of the country and its citizens. Meanwhile, the Speaker of the Representatives Council issued a statement on the occasion of the International Day of Peace. Zainal affirmed that Bahrain was and still is a model to be emulated in the fields of peace and coexistence between different religions and sects as a result of the visions of His Majesty the King. She added that peace is a firm approach by His Majesty the King, a steadfast culture for the Bahraini people and one of the fundamental principles of the homeland. Zainal stated that it is, a fortunate, it is fortunate that the celebration of this International Day of Peace coincides with the signing of the Declaration of Support for Peace between Bahrain and Israel. She praised the initiatives of His Majesty the King to establish the King Hamad International Center for Peaceful Coexistence and to inaugurate His Majesty's Chair for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence Studies at the prestigious University of Sabzania in Italy in 2018. The Shura Council issued a statement on the occasion of the International Day of Peace. The Council praised Bahrain's efforts to achieve peace and global stability through the initiative of His Majesty the King by signing the Declaration to Support Peace between Bahrain and Israel. It noted that Bahrain is working on the continuity of implementing plans and programs to meet the 16th goal of the Sustainable Development Plan, which is related to peace, justice and effective institutions. 
The Council stressed that this declaration is another step in Bahrain's path towards coexistence, cohesion and dialogue, as well as building diplomatic relations that achieve development in all fields. The Shura Council stated that the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has consolidated the spirit of peaceful coexistence and dialogue between different religions, as well as openness to various cultures and civilizations. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, stated that the bank's response to postpone loan payments until the end of the year is a continuation of the initiatives in the financial and economic stimulus announced under the directives of His Majesty the King to unify national efforts to confront the impacts of the coronavirus pandemic. He added that the response also supports the national efforts by the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and the continuous follow-up by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. The minister stressed that this move does not affect the bank's liquidity and financial solvency and will contribute to enhancing and supporting liquidity for citizens and small and medium-sized enterprises. He had extended his thanks and appreciation to the Central Bank of Bahrain for its keenness to implement the initiative and to the Parliament for the continuous and constructive cooperation as well as to the banks for their prompt response and to other relevant authorities. He said that the responsibility is shared by everyone, each within their own capacity, through the contributions and various roles to achieve the set goals in the best manner possible and serve the develop development of the nation and its citizens. The Health Ministry Under Secretary Dr. Walid al Mana called on avoiding gatherings during the two upcoming weeks to decrease the number of people infected by the virus. He highlighted Bahrain's efforts in prioritizing the health of its citizens and residents, noting that the Kingdom has taken all preventive measures to combat the virus and its spread since the beginning of the pandemic. Dr. al Mana explained the danger of gatherings that take place without following precautionary measures as they lead to a spike in cases, thus depletion of resources and efforts made in previous stages. More than 5,000 people have so far volunteered for the Phase 3 of the COVID-19 inactivated vaccine clinical trials being conducted to the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. The Ministry of Health commended the large flux of candidates, which reflects the community awareness and responsibility of volunteers who answer the call of national duty. The Bahrain Public Health Directorate announced last August the initiation of Phase 3 clinical trial for the COVID-19 inactivated vaccine under the slogan For Humanity. A number of senior officials, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, volunteered for the Phase 3 trials. The ministry said that His Royal Highness's initiative to volunteer for the clinical trials last week had wide responses locally, regionally and internationally, and motivated many others to follow suit. Bahrain is currently on the verge of the last stages of the clinical trials after successfully implementing all the previous steps since the introduction of clinical trials of the third phase, which aim to develop a safe and effective vaccine that protects society and humanity. The National Task Force for Combating COVID-19 followed up on the health status of all volunteers after undergoing the vaccination. The candidate's health assessment is conducted after joining the clinical trials of the inactivated vaccine in accordance with the accredited protocol. The third phase of the vaccine's clinical trial conducted in partnership with the China-based pharmaceutical company Sinopharm has been approved by the National Health Regulatory Authority. It involves administering the inactive vaccine to the selective volunteers to study the effectiveness of the antibody pr production and the acquired protection against the virus. The ministry revealed that the trial includes up to 6,000 volunteers over the age of 18 and volunteers who have to undergo a health assessment prior to enlisting as per the health requirements set by the approved protocols. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,979 with 599 recoveries and 620 registered new cases. 98 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 519 are contacts of active cases and 3 are travel related. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions and avoid public places when possible.